explain, state what is meant by gravitational field strength. I'm not sure I got this one right. Um, okay, so so what does it mean, right? Uh, they're just saying if you've got a, let's say you've got a mass here and there's a gravitate, so you're making a gravitational field, and we have a small point mass here, right? It is the um, force per unit mass exerted on a small point charge, right? And they, they, that they specify that, and I don't know. There it is, right? So you got to say a small point mass, right? The idea is that it's so small that it doesn't generate its own field, right? Um, which just seems to me that they can't accept the usage of the word of the subjunctive in the English language. Were there to be a mass there, it would have a force of whatever. But anyway, it's a physics definition. So if you want your full mark, you got to mention that there's a small point mass there. Um, okay. Show that the potential at the surface is minus g times r plus h, right? So we're just saying that our, our r is some radius of the planet plus how far you are above the planet, which makes sense, right? So distance from the center of a planet is radius of the planet plus h, right? Which is h is how far you are above the planet, right? Okay. And then how do you show this? Well, remember that G is what? G is GM over R squared, right? Okay, and then if you uh, if you multiply both sides by R, you'll get R times G, right? R times G is just GM over R. And then if you recall, the gravitational potential is minus GM over R. So if we substitute here, we'll end up with, if we substitute this for R, Right, and then just divide by this, right? You'll end up with um, that expression. So see if you can algebraically get that expression. Okay, um, <clears throat> all right. And then it says draw a graph on the axis to show the variation of the gravitational field of a planet uh, with height h above the surface, right? Remember that, that uh, this gravitational thing there is a, asymptotically is like a, Right, this is uh, x and y. Right, this is our, our gravitational potential. This is our radius. Right, but we're talking about to a distance r and h um, with an h above the planet. Right, so here's the radius of the planet, and this should be an asymptote approaching zero. Right, so that's what you're looking for. I can see if I can draw a better picture of that. Here, I'm gonna draw a better picture. Right, that this. If you graph this, I had to graph this on my calculator because I was like, I don't believe this, right? It's going to be this uh, right, little thing like that, right? And this is, of course, getting r to be zero, so you're approaching a singularity. What they're asking for is at a distance r. What does this part of the graph look like? So this is the part you want to graph. Okay? All right.